So far in this series of debunking Flat Earth memes, we have destroyed some of Flat Earth's brightest and best memes. I know they're all bad, but stay with me. But today on this series, we're going to tackle one of the most common memes that you see from Flat Earth. And it is a classic. Hello everyone and welcome along to another episode of Debunking Flat Earth Memes with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a massive thank you to the sponsors of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easier to create a beautiful website, engage with the audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. All in one place, all on your terms. Now, you can start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. You can choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business, and optimized for every device. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and then grow the way you want. And if you've got a shop, you can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. You can accept credit cards, PayPal and Apple Pay and in eligible countries offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. And you can measure your end-to-end -end online performance with powerful website and seller analytics. You can get insights on top traffic sources, understand how your reach is growing, track sales metrics, and learn where to focus new engagement. It's all the data you need to scale your brand or business. Fully integrated and clearly displayed. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash Simandan to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Right, on with today's video, which as I said at the start, is a flat earth meme classic. You would have almost certainly seen it on social media at some point or a variation of it, and it is of course this one, the old gravity strength meme. Let's have a closer look. Gravity, an invisible magic power that is strong enough to hold down trillions of liters of ocean water yet weak enough to allow the tiniest insect or bird to fly freely in any direction. You decide when the cognitive dissonance begins. I will, don't worry. And it's not where you think. This meme is a mass of confusion about gravity and how it works. See what I did there? Let's take this one apart, shall we? First off, the meme creator fails to understand how the gravitational force between Earth and any object is entirely dependent on mass. The mass of the object and the mass of the Earth. Yes, gravity is a fundamental weak force compared to others, but with enough mass, that force soon adds up. And that force is substantial when it comes to large bodies of water, because of course, there is a huge amount of mass here. Tiny birds and insects have a much smaller mass, resulting in a much smaller gravitational force. But let's not just sit there and say that, let's actually calculate it. Let's start with the ocean. And the Pacific is as good an ocean as any to pick. And sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but trillions of litres is not going to cut it. It's estimated that the Pacific Ocean contains 7 times 10 to the power of 20 litres of water. That's around 700 quintillion. So, we know that 1 litre equals 1 kilogram, so the Pacific Ocean has a mass of 7 times 10 to the 20 kilograms. Gravitational force in newtons is the mass multiplied by the gravitational constant of 9.8 meters per second squared. F equals mg, it's one of the most fundamental equations in physics. So, we've got 7 times 10 to the power of 20 multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared and that gives us a total gravitational force of 6.86 times 10 to the power of 21 newtons. That is 6.86 sextillion newtons. Well, now let's use that same calculation to estimate the gravitational force on a dragonfly, for example. Well, a dragonfly weighs on average around one gram, which is 0.001 kilograms. So using the same formula as before, we can see that the gravitational force between a dragonfly and the Earth is 0.001 multiplied by 9.8, which gives us 0.0098 newtons. So as you can see, 
a substantially different gravitational force. In order to understand just how substantial, let's have a quick look at exactly what a Newton is. An apple has a mass of around 100 grams, which means when you hold it, the force you feel pulling it down is around one Newton. So with the Pacific Ocean, the gravitational force felt would be roughly the same as trying to hold up 6.86 sextillion apples. And with the dragonfly, it would feel like you are holding just a tiny slice of apple. But that's not the end of the story yet, because a dragonfly, of course, has the means to overcome that gravitational force. Their wings generate lift, and that generates a force greater than the gravitational force acting on it. Now that still requires a lot of energy to do that, but they do do it. And that's why they appear to defy gravity. The Pacific Ocean has no means by which to counteract the gravitational force, so it just sits there. It's a massive body of water that's held firmly in place by gravity because it cannot produce any opposing force to lift itself up. Well, there we go. I hope that goes some way in explaining why that meme is total nonsense. It shows a fundamental misunderstanding of gravity and how it works. No surprise there, of course. Let me know what you think of that in the comments below. Of course, if you see this meme anywhere on your social media travels, link this video below it. And if you have memes that you've seen that you want debunking, then please do send them to me at my email address, which is simandan at gmail.com. But we're all done and dusted and done and debunked for another Flat Earth meme video. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it. A massive thumbs up would help immensely. And of course, if you really enjoyed it, then you can subscribe to the channel too. Just enough time to once again thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Remember, visit squarespace.com for your free trial. Then when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash Dan and you can get 10% off your first purchase of any website or domain. I've been Simon Dan, have yourselves a great couple of days, and I'll see you on Friday for an epic flat earth sundial fail. See you then.